So I've rigged my character and I've actually didn't rig a character. I just loaded another one I was using. Okay, so the only difference with the previous one is that this isn't really uh, safe for Unity since it has two uh, spine bones. So in your case, just ignore that. Just keep the advice I said in the previous one and keep only one uh, upper bone for your spine. Now. Let's see how to set up an IK rig and how I actually want to set up my own IK rigs. So we'll go into our bone and uh, let me set back the octahedron. So I'm going into edit mode into my armature and I'm going to duplicate the my pelvis bone. I'm going to bring it back uh, back basically to the ground, I'm going to floor it and this will work as our, basically as a root since this one is uh, the parent of your hips bone when you move this around, after we parent it of course uh, which we should do right now so I'm going to select my pelvis bone that looks like a penis over here anyway and I'm going to keep uh, hit control and say keep offset pause moved and if I move this around okay I can take all my uh, my armature with me and if I move this around it will also move like so so I'm going to actually uh, though hide uh, not before I hide it I'm going to change the name uh, for the bone back in edit mode and I'm going to say root bone now I'm going to hide it inside uh, the edit mode I'm going to select and this will probably be over here I'm going to select both of my foot uh, bones which are uh, connected okay they are the at the same position or they should be at the same position but I only want the heads and not the actual bones and I'm going to hit E and I'm going to extrude and this gives me two bones now I will select both of them I'll P and disconnect bone and yeah I didn't want to disconnect I actually want clear parent and I'm going to leave them around, uh, not around over here. I'm going to actually leave them where they actually are. Okay, clear parent. I want them to be though at this position. I'm going to change this one for two left foot. Okay, and this one to right foot ok I'm going to do the same for the knees I'm extruding ok and clear parent and I'm going to bring the knees the knees way ahead like somewhere over here I'm going to change the names left knee ok right knee ok and I'm going to select the left one and next select the left foot ok control P and then make parent with keep offset the same for the right uh, foot control P keep, so keep offset and I'm going to bring back my root bone and I'm actually going to uh, parent the foot ok both of these into my root bone with keep offset so when I move this around I'm also taking the uh, IK handles with me and if I move the hips the IK handles uh, not yeah, the hips or the pelvis depending on how you named it ok I'm keeping the IK handles as they were so with that I'm going to hide this one again and I can go into my pause mode and start placing 
inverse kinematics. So I select my first bone and I'm going to select bone constraints for my property stub. Add bone constraint and inverse kinematics. Find uh, the target which is my rig and in my case called beep01 uh, and then I'm going to write over here left near a k and don't mind about that and I'm going to say the chain length to be at 1 I'm going to select my next bone and I'm going to say add inverse kinematics find the target which is the rig and I want this to be the left foot a k and I'm going to change the chain length to be 2 and with just like that we have set up an IK an IK rig basically now if I also want to have more control on the foot and do not change that depending on if my foot is over here or over there okay sometimes you want to have that other times you do not want to keep the rotation of the foot to be always be the same as the above or do not inherit you can go into your uh, bone tab and unclick inherit rotation so it will always keep its own rotation and this is uh, somewhat useful for when you for when you are making uh, you know stuff that you need to keep your uh, your foot grounded so if I bring my hips down you will see that the rotation of uh, the foot stays the same but if it was inheriting from rotation it will change depending on the rotation of the leg so that's pretty much up to you how you want to decide if you want to have it or not or if you want your foot to inherit rotation from one to another and you can also do that for all your bones so I'm bring this back I'm going to quickly do the same for the right leg and inverse kinematics find my rig right knee same length to 1 and inverse kinematics my rig right foot ok chain leg to 2 and just like that we have ik we have set up an ik rig for both our feet ok now we're ready to do the hands so to start doing the hands we also need to do the elbow and I'm actually going to select both of the elbows I'm going to extrude with E I suppose you probably already know how to extrude clear parent bring them way back like way back and this is kind of kind of important to be far away so even if they are here there are cases that are going to be trouble with them so just bring them way back and I'm also going to go into the hands and say extrude extrude them back clear parent and keep that position I'm going to rename this one so I can find it easier later and I'm going to say left hand ok left elbow ok right elbow ok left uh, right hand ok ok simple enough I'll parent the elbow to the hand with P, keep offset same for the right hand keep offset and get the both of my IK handles to be parented under my root bone with keep offset of course so 
I have to set up now my Akei rig for the hand and similarly as we did for the for the legs we can go and add inverse kinematics uh, my rig left elbow and chain length to one now you can also go further than one but you might not always get good results so I'm going to go into my forearm do the same and left hand okay chain length to two same for this for the right hand inverse kinematics my rig right uh, right elbow chain length one and continue on rig right hand okay chain length to two and just like that we have set up a okay rig so i can move this around and uh, i usually just like this go and uh, animate because yeah i do not care a lot since i know that i can uh, fix pretty much most of problems that can arise later i sometimes i just animate uh, with a rig just like that and other things you can do is uninherit the rotation from the hands okay so even if you place it like that even if you place it like this so you see that in cases that uh, the hand goes like that all you have to do is basically rotate your hand uh, your hand okay and if the hand is like that it's it, because it keeps the same rotation it always had but if you inherit the rotation then it will fall along with the AK sometimes you do not want the hand to fall along with this because uh, it might be grabbing something and it might be doing all that okay so it's basically up to you and you also sometimes you do not want your neck to inherit the rotation of the spine it all comes to preference to be honest uh, after that but with this you can go directly and basically animate from here now uh, I think I've covered everything I want to cover you will find some other rigs there's also the actual rig that comes the, rig, the rigify rig that comes with uh, the actual blender but I do not tend to use it I just feel it's just too much for what I needed especially what everything that has to do with unity keep in mind that this is directly and only how it works in unity and pretty much not how it works in unity the best case I found that it worked uh, with unity at least that's the stuff I do okay there are plenty of tutorials out there so you can pretty much go and find if you're not happy with this you can go find uh, another one that might work and if I want to move my guy over here from over here and move it like somewhere else okay I'll do it from the root bone now when you're done animating and if you want to add it in unity always save your file always save your uh, model and your file into a T pose okay always save it like that because the retargeting works way better than this and you actually what you should do is add keyframe this pose and save it like this so the first uh, the first animation um, your action over here which we'll see in the next video should always be a keyframe T pose when you model though when you create your model you shouldn't be making it into a T pose so you should probably make something make it into a pose that is more relaxed than a T pose so something like that otherwise you will see a lot of unity games have bad uh, bad shoulders so the shoulders just look horrible 
and that is because when you model your actual uh, characters and that if you model them in a T pose you you tend to exaggerate your shoulders so it's best to animate something into a position uh, not to animate something to model something into a position that you will most likely see inside your game so think of how many times you have seen a T pose inside the game and think of how many times you have seen a model that has his hands uh, placed at this position uh, at a position similar to this or to this okay so that's an extra tip for that and so on the next video I'm going to go with the basics of how you can animate and I'll talk a bit about my own procedure how I animate